Hi, this is Mark P. Summers, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to get your Dunn's number. Uh, what is a Dunn's number? A Dunn's number is a Dun and Bradstreet business registration number, and it's what Apple uses to ensure that you are a real company and you're not just making up fictitious information. And so they rely on the Dun and Bradstreet database of businesses. And it's a bit like a FICO score for uh, your yourself, um, but this is a business registration database that kind of just checks that you are who you say you are. Now, um, I know that it is very, very easy to search. How do I get a DUNS number online? And, you know, this video would come um, to be not needed. However, if you simply follow the instructions on how to get a DUNS number, you will probably end up on this uh, page here, which is going to charge you $299 for a DUNS number because, well, that's what it says that you need to get. And uh, what you don't realize is that this is if you want the service expedited. And uh, well, if you do it non expedited, it is free. And it also only takes two or three days to actually get it uh, approved. And so the $229 for expedited service is just not worth it. Now, you can also send me $228 because I've just saved you um, money. And I'll be happy with that um, if you want to. Uh, so yes, you don't need to uh, pay for this expedited service. The first thing you want to do is find out whether you already have a DUNS number and you're going to use the DUNS number lookup service. You get to that by going to a DNB, which stands for DUN and Bradstreet, DNB. And then at the top here, it says DUNS number. Click on that. And then under the DUNS number drop down, it says, um, uh, Dunn's number lookup. And from there, you're going to scroll down and click on the Dunn's number lookup tool. In here, you're going to select that you're searching for your number. Now, if you've only just registered your business, or you've not had much experience um, with finance and things like that, you may not even have a Dunn's number, but this is going to help you look that up. And so you're going to search for your company name, you're going to type in the address that you use when you registered that company. You're going to type in the city and click on search. And then if it's found you, it will list you here. If this your business comes up here, it means that you do have a Dunn's number. Now, it is not going to send you. What did I do? Here we go. It is not going to send you uh, or show you the Dunn's number here on the web. You then have to ask it to email you the Dunn's number. And so you then type in your name, your email address, and um, whether you want uh, free alerts for changes about your company score. Uh, like I said, it was a bit like a uh, FICO uh, score. They'll send you updates on your, on your credit signal. And once you've done that, you will get an email that looks like this saying this is your company name and this is your Dunn's number. And this number here is what you're going to need for your Apple developer account. All right, let's look at what we do if we don't come up on this lookup. So let's go back uh, to the lookup tool here. And this time we're going to look for a company that I know is not doesn't have a Dunn's number and we click on search and then it says, sorry, we can't find you. And if they can't find you, don't worry. That doesn't mean um, you don't exist. Obviously, if you've registered the LLC um, or the C Corp or the S Corp or whatever it is, um, and you've got your documentation uh, to do that, in that case, you're going to come uh, back to the Dunn's number page and click on get a Dunn's number. And this time, uh, get started now. And this time, it's asking you whether you are, oh, come on, stop messing around, uh, are a, 
a US business, a Canadian business, uh, an Apple developer. And so this is what we're going to uh, click on. We're going to click on get started. And then it's going to tell you all the things that you need. So you need your legal entity name. That's your LLC name, your headquarters address. That's the address that when you registered with your state, what address you use there, your mailing address. This can be different from your headquarters address and then your work contact information, i.e. your email and your uh, your telephone number. OK, and it like it says, it says to look up your number first to make sure that you're not already listed. OK, once you've got all that together, uh, then you're going to go ahead and um, and then apply for it. So uh, you're going to go back to here and you say, I am a US based business. Then you're going to type in the zip code. You're going to type in the business name and now me typing in the business name, um, it shows it's already there. But if I typed in that one that I know isn't there, then it's going to say, I don't see my business. And at that point, you can click on the get my Duns number for free. And it does say you'll get it within 30 days or less. Um, I did mine last year and I got it within a few days. Um, so don't feel rushed into um, paying the $229 uh, and definitely don't do the the yearly subscription. You don't need that uh, to be an Apple developer. You just need your DUNS number and this column here is good. And while you're waiting for your DUNS number, you can carry on in Famous.ai and get your app all ready to submit to the App Store. Um, and by the time your app is nicely developed and ready to submit, you'll have your DUNS number ready to get registered with the Apple developer and Apple Connect. I hope this is helpful. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.